Hi, this is Jack Spade, Private Detective. It's my story deck routine. I hope you enjoy it. What we have here is a small case. Inside this case is a pack of playing cards. What I'm, going to be, what I'm about to do is to tell you a story that pertains to every card in this pack. As I reveal the parts of the story with its narrative, I will find that card that's relevant to the plot. For example, this is the story of Jack Spade. Now, Jack Spade was a private detective. One day, a redhead walked into his office. Jack immediately noticed her two beautiful eyes and huge ears. She was out walking her dog one day when suddenly, you know, a dog as in a canine, when suddenly she was attacked by an evil king. The evil king should be about there. Oh, sometimes I don't pay attention, attention, but if we give it a little rub, we can turn it into the evil king. Now the king stole the lady's 14 karat gold ring. And if Jack was to get it back, he would get a diamond as his reward. It should be about there. But Jack didn't want a diamond. What he wanted was a kiss on the cheek from the fair lady. Of course, she thought he was joking, but decided to take him up on the case anyway. Jack made his way to 42nd Street, where the crime took place. 42nd Street being about there. 42nd Street. He was tempted to take on a show, but he had a job to do. And he had a look for some clues, any kind of evidence, anything which might suggest where he was, where that king had got to. Everything seemed a bit lost, confused. He was upside down, back to front. Nobody knew anything that could take place. But, suddenly a street light came on and lit the way to the Queen's Head pub, since it was the only card that was upside down in the pack. Inside, he had a look for someone that matched the description of that king. We'll choose a number by random, I'm going to say six for this case. If I go one, two, three, four, five, six, it should take me to an evil king. Jack questioned him about the gold ring, which had how many carrots in it? Fourteen. And he said that he had it, but if he wanted it back, he would have to beat him at a game of poker. Jack thought about this for a moment, and then decided to have a quick look at the rule book before joining the game with five other players. Five of which should be here. Three of which were instantly knocked out as fast as that. The remaining players each placed a bid onto the table, equal to the number of carrots in that ring, and then they displayed their hand. Player one, he had a pair of threes, along with three of a kind, in the way of three eights. At one point, they all were like the same eight, until he showed that he had a full house. He was so happy with his hand, that he gave himself whoop, a high five. The thief was doing a bit better. He had four of the kind in the way of four sixes. When he revealed a fifth six, we knew something was off with this pack. But Jack, he was, should be about there, Jack, he had the best hand in the game. For he, once we find this last card here, he had a royal flush. With the ring as his reward, he went to the bar for a drink of 7-Up. He also had a pair because he heard it was one of his five a day. But the thief came up to him and gave him three hits to the head and three hits to the chest. Call the police, somebody said. But Jack didn't need the police. He had to just give one hit where it really hurt and he had won that fight. He then made his way back down 42nd Street where he saw the Queen, gave her back a 14 karat gold ring, and then told Jack that he was a real ace. And with that, the only thing left for Jack to say was that this case was closed.